Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss about long acting injectable paliperidone. I am Dr. Suresh Badanmat, Professor of Psychiatry, working at National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences, Bangalore. In this video, I will be discussing about long acting injectable paliperidone, what is the pharmacokinetics, dosage, side effects, how to start the long acting injectable paliperidone. And what does the research say about this drug? Paliperidone is an active ingredient of the medication. Actually, it is a metabolite of Respiridone when it is taken. Paliperidone is chemically modified by esterification with palmitic acid. Once it is esterified, it becomes paliperidone palmitate. This paliperidone palmitate is then incorporated into a biodegradable polymer matrix called as poly DL lactatide co glycolide often using the microsphere or through depot technology that is gel formation the active drug paliperidone is evenly distributed within the polymer matrix or into the microsphere now let's understand the pharmacokinetics. Paliperidone palmitate is an aqueous nanoparticle suspension and it is nearly insoluble in water. However, it dissolves slowly at the intramuscular injection site. Once it is dissolved, it is hydrolyzed from the paliperidone palmitate to the active ingredient paliperidone. The peak plasma level of paliperidone palmitate given once a month occurs at the median of 13 days after the single injection. For paliperidone once a month injection has an apparent half-life of 25 to 49 days. Paliperidone palmitate is primarily excreted through kidney. It is not metabolized through the liver. 59 to 60% of the drug is excreted through the kidney without unchanged in the urine. There is no need to give concomitant oral either paliperidone or respiridone. No adjustment of dosage is required if the patient has any mild to moderate liver disease. There is no data about giving paliperidone in a person who has hepatic disease which is severe. In elderly patient with normal renal function, the patient should receive the same dosage as adult. That means, in dosage, the only parameter you need to check is renal function. Now let's understand how the paliperidone is available in the market. It is available both as a oral and IM injections. Tablet paliperidone is available as a 3mg tablet, 6mg and 9mg tablet. The usual dosage is between 6 to 9mg. In some of the patient who are maintaining well, on low dosage 3mg is enough. But please understand, it is given once a daily. In drug nave, patients who are never received IM injections, they need to be tried either on oral paliperidone or oral respiridone medications to see what is the tolerance level, whether they are able to tolerate this respiridone or paliperidone. If they are already on respiridone or paliperidone, no need to give oral medication. If you are giving paliperidone once a month dosage, they are available as 25 mg, 50 mg, 100 mg and 150 mg. It is also available as quarterly, that is, once in three months. It is available in following strengths 273 mg, 410 mg, 546 mg and 819 mg. This is not available yet in India. The injectable available in India is once a month. Let's discuss how paliperidone palmitate is initiated. On the day one, you will give loading dosage of 150 mg of paliperidone IM 
on the 8th day you will give 100 mg only now from the 8th day you will wait for one month that is on 38th day you will give either 100 mg or 75 mg from this day onwards you will continue monthly once how to choose whether it is 75 or 100 mg based upon the clinical response you will choose 75 or 100 mg if the patient has responded well choose 75 if the patient has partially responded or not responded please choose 100 mg so from here monthly dosage will be given by chance if the patient misses the medication for more than six months in such a scenario you will start from the loading dosage that is 150 mg then after eight days you will give 100 mg and then again from that day onwards one month you will choose 75 or 100 mg if the patient has missed the medication for more than one month to less than six months in such a scenario you will be giving the same dosage what he is receiving on the day one and you will repeat again on the eighth day and subsequently every month you will continue the same dosage so there is a mild mild difference between if the patient has missed the medication for more than six months versus less than six months suppose if the patient is on oral paliperidone how to convert it into im if the patient is on 3 mg of paliperidone orally you will give 75 mg monthly if the patient is on 6 mg you will give 100 mg if the patient is on 12 mg you will give 150 mg monthly injections you need to be caution let's understand what was those avoid giving injectables especially paliperidone in elderly stroke patients dementia and elderly ta that is tra transient ischemic attack patients avoid combination of medications which increases qtc interval and you need to keep monitoring with regard to metabolic changes such as abnormal glucose intolerance dyslipidemia or diabetes these long acting injectables can cause orthostatic hypotension eps rarely nms or hyperprolactinemia now let's discuss about the research with regard to paliperidone long acting injectables there was an interesting article published by bramante and his colleagues in 2023 this interesting article was published in neuropsychiatric disease and treatment the title of the article is Paliperidone Palmitate, a breakthrough treatment for schizophrenia, a review on patient's adherence level, healthcare resources utilization, and costs. In this study, the author reviewed 10 studies. Nine of them were retrospective cohort study and one mirror study. In this study, all the paliperidone studies were done on monthly injections of im none of the studies were on 3 months or 6 months injection so this study is applicable for those paliperidone palmitate injection who is receiving monthly ones the authors concluded if the patient is on monthly paliperidone injections they had lower number of hospitalization shorter inpatient length of stay lower total cost and also all inpatient cost were reduced in patients receiving im injections when compared to oral antipsychotics further a trend of higher rates of outpatient cost and pharmacy cost was seen in patient who are receiving monthly paliperidone injections than oral patients that means injections costed for outpatient and pharmacy further the authors also suggested paliperidone palmitate should be considered a promising treatment strategy for patients affected by schizophrenia similarly with regard to paliperidone 3 months there are no rcts however some of the selective scooping review done by lamb and keating in 2016 concluded that three months paliperidone injection is equal in safety 
and efficacy to monthly paliperidone injection similar conclusion was done by degastin and ray in 2016 they also reported three months dosing regimen improves both clinical and economic burden of the patients caregivers and the health system what about paliperidone in children and adolescent population there was a review published by beza and his colleagues in pediatric drugs and it was published in 2023 and this was titled as what role for long acting injectable antipsychotics in managing schizophrenia spectrum disorders in children and adolescent a systematic review there were only few studies with regard to long acting injectables in children and adolescents there were no studies on long acting injectables in children less than 12 months preliminary evidence suggests that approximately 33 patient received paliperidone pomidate once a month they did not had any major side effects they concluded that yes there is a possibility of considering paliperidone pomidate in adolescent patient only data in children below 12 years is lacking further if you look into the approval us fda has approved paliperidone pomidate monthly 3 months and 6 months injection for schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorder only with regard to bipolar disorder is a off label and in clinical practice we have seen some of the patients who have poor compliance paliperidone pomidate has found to be useful and a boon for their family members to conclude paliperidone pomidate is a long acting injectable antipsychotic medication used in treatment of schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorder and it helps in those patients who have poor compliance for medication further regular follow up and monitoring for side effects is essential paliperidone pomidate is available in different formulation once a month im dosage three months once im dosage and six months once injection in india monthly dosage is available three months and six months yet to be launched and how to start this paliperidone pomidate on the loading dosage on the day one you will give 150 mg on the eighth day you will give 100 mg and from there exactly one month either you will choose 100 or 75 mg based upon the clinical response from here it is monthly dosing if the patient misses the dosage for more than 6 months you will restart as per the above regimen if the patient misses the medication of more than 6 weeks to less than 6 months in such a scenario you will give whatever the dosage you was taking the last dosage you will give the same dosage on the day one and again after the 8th day you will repeat that from there monthly you will continue this is about paliperidone pomidate my dear friends thank you very much for giving your valuable time stay safe